Hey guys, so we just shot a video for eBay. Uh-huh. Four toys we give you away. So we figured this Sunday we had another video scheduled for you guys. But what haven't we done in a long time? We haven't gone through some unboxing videos, right? 10 by 50, you know, we have two of these units. If you watch the channel closely, we bought that huge warehouse. A lot of these boxes we never looked at, and we're hunting for these Pokemon booster boxes, first edition booster boxes. Yeah, I want to find it. Oh my goodness. Do you know what kind of money that's going to bring if we find it? First edition? So I think what we're going to do today, we just going to shoot like a 40, 45 minute video of unboxing nothing but toys. And we're going to keep it pretty natural. I'm not going to edit too much. It's just going to be pulling up boxes. Let's see what's in there. Yeah, because we don't know. It's been here for like two years. Tatiana's in the background. Say hi, Nana. Hello. And then, um, so let's try to do like two 25 minute sections. So when you get to 25 minutes, let's cut the files. Okay. Happy Sunday, everyone. Happy yeah. Sunday, yes. Star Wars, Darth Vader, 2004. This is cool. That's Blaster. Cool. Yeah. Wait, the, I've never even seen this. Press the trigger button. See if it makes noise. Oh. Hmm. The battery's dead. I mean, this is from the 90s. <laughs> then these do really well on eBay. Star Wars Unleashed Stormtroopers. Was that, was that your way of testing? Will she do it? <laughs> yep, let's see. How many? Is... Oh, look. This is, oh, let's put let's list this one on eBay. This whole box. Everything in here is super now, clean. I like listing it because it's five times the same one. So one listing, but oh, you yeah? really do five. So guys, these will be on eBay. This box is mostly empty then. So that's a cool eBay item. So we just shot an eBay video, guys. Make sure, I don't know when it's gonna come out, So, but it's a video that eBay actually helps to support. And we have four giveaways in that video? Yep. So it should come, the box is down there. It should come the next two or three weeks. Later when we clean up to like some of this loose stuff, let's just put in the box. Here, see if these lightsabers fit in here. So when we first started listing some of these on eBay, they weren't really selling. And now every time I list these, they sell right away. Yeah. And the price just keeps on going up. Right, eBay's the best. That's something I think you have to do when you go to Disney and make your own lightsaber. Yeah, but aren't they like two point six million dollars now? It's like a hundred dollars. Oh, just a hundred. That's worth it. Yeah, I guess. Oh, Lord of the Rings. I've never seen this figure before. We had a lot of Lord of the Rings. King of the Dead. What book is that from? Oh, Return of the King. Return of the King. And Faramir. Ooh, look at this one, Fantastic Four. Which King? There's a whole bunch of Lothar. Actually, the Lothar, the ring figures, I mean, they're not super high. Check out that one, guys. That's, That's pretty how I scary. That are like that big. <laughs> but if you talk about a quality of action figure and the design, Lord of the Rings is actually a really, really good deal. Lord of the Rings is good because it's like Star Wars. It's movie style, you know? Yeah, I know. I like it. And, and everything, you know. So what I learned... Oh, that looked like it was about to follow me. See if I can get it. Ah. What, what I learned throughout time, the figures that nobody wants, buy them, and then a few years later, they just go crazy in price. Oh, look at that. Jurassic Park Pez. Yeah, Pez. Oh, Pez remember this thing. deal? Okay, guys. So I tell you, I talk about opportunity all the time, right? Skylanders. Do you remember this? Yeah. I love Skylanders. At the, t at the old house, old, old Scratch Ranch? Yeah. So I was at the swap meet, and again, talk about it. It's so funny that this happens right now. Talk about toys that nobody wanted. They used to have a Skylander 8 pack. It was some sort of game. I still don't know what it is, but it's some kind of game. It's kind of like an adventure. It's kind of, you know, you have all these characters and they're. This playing. is not the one I want with the Nintendo system or something, right? No, Nintendo wasn't there yet. It, anyway, it was some kind of adventure game with these figures. And this guy just swapped me. So he always buys, sells like the 99 cent store items. And he buys liquidation stuff that didn't sell at the store. He had these 8 packs of Skylanders early. And he was selling them for 2 bucks a piece. And he had about 400 of them. And we bought all 400 of them at two bucks a piece. And whenever you find a collection, guys, don't forget to buy the whole thing. So that way you eliminate all your competitors on eBay. We put them on eBay. Well, yeah, less competitors, you hope. But with toys, it's tough because all over the world. But there weren't that many of these available. And we had them on eBay for $29.99 to $69.99, depending on which ones they were. Sold every one of them. During Christmas, we would sell like 10 packs a day. Oh, that's so funny. Skylanders. Memories made us a lot of money. It's a good show. It's cute. Yeah, I don't remember it, but the, the best part about that was that made us a lot of money when we didn't have a lot of money. So that was, that was a really good Christmas. Oh, what's this? I don't know. That oh. does not look like toys. Oh. It's framed at the... Oh, it's like oh, a... It's, it's a safe. It, it's a mirror. Oh, it's a mirror. Oh, well, why, why is there a back of that? We had one of safe? these in the store. Oh, it, it might be. Is it like a secret safe? Uh, I think it's just with mirror with light. It lights up. Oh. Yeah. 
We had one in the store. Uh, let's see. Let's see if that's what's in here. Oh, I saw a cool figure in there. That'd be so cool if you had a mirror and then, like, if you like look at it, it had like a sensor on it, so then it would turn like it would make you look old, like a skeleton. Huh. Like how they have in the haunted houses. I don't yeah, need I don't need really a mirror cool. for that. I look in the mirror right now, I look old. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you need a mirror for that? Or it like has like a skeleton behind Ooh, you. Check Model? it out. It's a Batmobile. There's some vintage stuff in here too. The Batmobile. Indestructible. That's wow. cool. Let's take that. Let's get that on eBay. Let's take that yeah, home. Yeah, look at that. Or I'll take it to the warehouse. I think these are old G.I. Joe tanks. Yep. Yeah, oh, that's okay. Cool. And then a superhero. So it's funny because like this toy collection, obviously most of the stuff he had is sealed. But then sometimes you'll find like old vintage toys. Like over here I saw a vintage toy. I think I did. Ooh, talking about old vintage, look, there's a troll. Those are super collectible, you know that, right? Yeah, and it has a, um, oh, it's by Russ, so that means it's the vintage one, right? That's I, how I look. I'm I not like sure. It. It, to me, it looks like it's a newer one. Showing me both. Ah. Oh, you know, <gasps> I thought this was Evil Knievel. Whoa, it's Buzz Lightyear. I bet you this is 100 bucks. Yeah, the new Buzz Lightyear movie just came out. Buzz Lightyear, an American flag, Stars and Stripes Buzz. Let's put this one. This takes us to where else. That's a good one we list right away. I bet you that's a hundred bucks. Yeah. It's amazing how valuable the um, how valuable the uh, Toy Story toys are. The Woodies and the Buzz Lightyear. Which one is that? Obi Wan Kenobi, Funko Pops. No, they're not Funko. I think they're vinyl. Oh, you're right, vinyl. But yeah. they're made by Funko, aren't they? Yeah, they're made by Funko. Oh. Okay. But they're called vin vinyls. Almost look like a Funko Pop, to be honest. Oh, they're bobbleheads. Yeah, so the Funko Pops are bobbleheads, aren't they? Uh, not the Funko Pops. They're not? Okay. That's maybe why they're called vinyl, because they're different. I don't know. Cool. Bunch of hot wheels down there. Tech deck dudes. Let us know in the comments. But, yeah. What else are you going to show us? <sighs> why don't you move that box so we, you can get to those? I can, I can. Let's move me. Let's move it forward here. Let's have this little broken class there. Why don't you come to school in for a second, Anna? Okay. Yeah, you should check out our garage. They just put it aside there. Ooh, ah. What is it? Wrestling figures. Oh, cool. Rey Mysterio, Marvel Legends, Vintage Simpson. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Jar Jar Binks, Spawn figurines. Yeah, I don't want to unpack too much of this. Oh, these do really good. A lot, of, a lot of these atomic figures are like 50, 60 bucks on eBay. They oh sell fast. Yeah. So that's so many toys that we get that I would never thought about collecting. But then and we which get one was that? Because that, there was one member that I listed that was really rare. A lot of them are like 50, 60, and some of them are like Yeah, 100. the atomic Betty. She's so cute. I think it's called atomic, but Betty's just one of the figurines. Yeah. So this says P-O-T-F. Do you know what that stands for, Nana? Piece of the food, perfect. Or power the force. Oh, okay. So this should be Star Wars. Oh, okay. I was <laughs> like, I don't know. I'll take a piece of the food. Casey's like, wow, that's a good guess. <laughs> yeah. I used all my brain power to get that. So there was a time in the early 2000s nobody wanted these. And I was buying these by the hundreds at a buck a piece. Now yeah. most of them started at nine bucks on eBay. Nine ninety nine. Yeah, nine ninety nine. And during Christmas, these sell like hotcakes. Yeah. Well, it's great for gifts and stuff like this because uh, here you, this box then you can leave here because a lot of the collectors, you know, they want the rarer Star Wars, 30 bucks, 40 bucks and even higher. But grandparents that just want it for the kids and they want a Luke Skywalker, they see this for $9.99 and they're like, I'll take it. Max Repo. Ooh, pet shop. What is it? Is it a hamster? I have oh, no, no like idea. Dog. Okay. It's something not so cute. Oh, and it's a bobblehead. Oh, no, I think it's a hamster, because look, it's got the... Like, but normally they don't have bobbleheads, right? Hmm, that's that might special. be, Yeah, it might be more rare. Sometimes they have bobbleheads. I don't know. R2-D2 Anniversary yeah. Edition. Oh, maybe this is Contact. just a special edition's bobblehead. I love this series, the Saga, the Saga Collections. Dot Bolt and Masguo. Look at how cute the birdie. 
So a lot of the birds are like special editions. Really? Kind of looks yeah. like Tweety Bird. Yeah. yeah, let's close it. Let's just close it by leave this box here. This goes 50 feet deep, guys. So in oh, here is at least, in this unit, there should be about 12, 13,000 action figures. Oh, more good stuff. Ooh, here's a good one. Ben, ben 10. 10. These always sell for big money. If you see them anywhere, buy them. Yeah. Like a crappy one to 30 bucks. Yeah. I never really liked that show. I don't even know that show. I know everything about value. Yeah. Jason Wynn, McFarlane toys, and I, I have no idea. It's Spawn. Ben 10 is about a boy who finds an alien watch that can turn him into aliens. 10 aliens. Really? With his watch, yeah. Hmm? Yeah. We knew that. That makes sense because, like, it's the little boy. It's the watch. Texaco I just know they usually on average sell for $49.99. But the aliens are, like, all different. Like, the one has ice powers and, you know. Ooh, it's one cool. of my favorite shows, Legends of Star Trek. Yeah. That's fun. Well, just just Romulan, Bird of Prey, Romulan, Bird of Prey. Huh. Here's Wood. a Woody. Woody's a cool car. Ooh, Mad oh. Around the World vintage book. It's probably 1960s or older. Wow, and that's in really good condition. Yeah. This is a fun box. Guys. Oh, Superman. look, it's the Simpsons. That's Hot Wheels. Cool Hot Wheels. Yeah, that's a good cross collectible. Fantastic Four. Oh, who's this? There's a Star Trek person. Uh, Beverly Picard in red commander uniform. That must be rare. So because, as we know, as all our Star Trek fans know, oh, she yeah. was the doctor. Doctors are always in blue. Yeah, because, well, it's not because they're doctors, because they're science. So they're oh, part of the science the department. Science. Red is a command uniform. Yellow is security and engineering, I think. Yep. Not that I watch Star Trek. <laughs> I mean, like, everybody knows that. But there was an episode in Star Trek where uh, she took command of the Enterprise. Mm -hmm. And, uh... Everything went wrong? No, she no. actually did a really good job. She had to make a very difficult decision that episode. Uh, she had to make a very difficult decision. It says right here, the next generation, all good things. That's the episode. She had to actually leave her captain behind in order to save the ship. So Yeah, look at this one. Transformer. That's cool. That is really cool. I like that. I've never seen that. That's cool. And it's a PX previous exclusive. So who knows? Might be a rare one. Pretty cool. Am I sweating? A little bit. It Guys, is hot. Okay. It's just hot. It's like a hundred some degrees. Yeah. <sighs> it just gives an opportunity for the haters to say I need to lose weight, which I probably do. I can't even lie about it's that. It's okay. I'll get you your iced tea with only two iced teas. <laughs> Beanie Babies. And a lemon wedge. Beanie Babies. The end. Oh, we should have him every time we do like any, anything, we'll just have him come in. The end. <laughs> this one looks more rare, because look at how big it is. I've never cute. seen this one. Is it a salamander, or is it, what is it? What type of animal? That's just this. I have no idea. You tell me. <laughs> I mean, salamanders come in pretty salamanders. <laughs> oh, mm. do we got vintage? Sizzlers? I think all of this is vintage, to be honest. Well, I mean, a lot of stuff is 90s, but this looks even older. Oh, it's a reissue, 2006. Hot Wheels Sizzler, Matt Scatter set. Wow, that does That's look That's probably vintage. pretty cool. So I think on these, you can actually charge the cars on this. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah. Neutron Star Superman, Justice League Superman. Oh, Princess Beach. Look at that. Tatiana's not looking at what I'm showing. Cool. Spider-Man, she's like... I'm showing all the other stuff in the box. She's like a little toy Batman. hunter. Prince Beach, that's really cool. Here's mm -hmm. another mask Hey, you know what? Why don't you... I want to research these because this is something I don't know. I have no idea if these have value or not. Can I have the Princess Beach if it's not worth that much? Did you, you guys hear it? that? You rarely ever hear Renee Careful, say this is that. something that he doesn't know. Well, I know the I originals are really good. when he finds something he doesn't know because he knows almost everything. No, I don't. I just don't know the reissues. Yeah, if you want to just say... Thank you. That's the purpose of working with you guys. <laughs> working with us. And I'll take it off your college money. What you talking about? All right. How many minutes are we in this video? Anyway? We're at 14 minutes so far. I'm sweating like a hooker in church. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Better you than me. <laughs> oh, these are cool. These have been selling really good. Oh yeah. So these sold really slow on eBay at first, but now I think we sold most of them. And usually they start at like 15 bucks. I don't even think we have any more listed. I'm not sure. Oh, be. this one looks rare. Do you guys recognize this guy? It's the Death Star Troy, doesn't it? I don't recognize So he's like an R2-D2, but he's, he's on a Death Star. He looks evil, so I think he's on a Death Star. Yeah. Well, like, because R2-D2 has blue, and it's not necessarily, like, a formal color. That's why I like the aerial pepper. You know, 
The Imperial Death Star, Troy. Yeah, they're, they're cool. Tatiana's favorite show as a kid. Crunch. The Crunch is still Christmas. Try me. <laughs> Another Death Star, Troy. Wow, this guy is pretty cool. Ooh, Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear. And... What's that? Rey Mysterio again. That's the second Rey Mysterio. Yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, that. Toy Story 3. Oh, he's funny. Uh -uh. Oh, look at this. The Joker. That's, that's great. A cool one. Matrix. Oh, that's a really cool Spider-Man down here. Careful. So how you put, we don't want to bend them too bad. I mean, a lot of these are kind of stored rough anyway. They're not case fresh. That one's cool. Oh, well, look, you can take off his face. You can put two different faces on there. See uh, it right yeah, here? Yeah, Peter Parker or Spider-Man, yeah. Yeah. That's kind of funny. If you, you know this anime on it, Berserk? No. Hmm. Something about soldiers is kind of cool. It's not a... Oh, these are usually good. Um, Fire Hero Rescue. By Fisher Price. Cool. Some Mattel stuff down there. Probably okay, we're good with this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Here, just, you got a second right, baby. It's fun to watch these videos. There we go. Yeah, and this is exciting because we don't even know what's in each box. It's like Christmas. Let's see what kind of cards in here. My hands are dirty. Kind of hand hate handling cards, but let's see. They had the 90s anyway, but let's see what we got here. 94 Pinnacle. Dion Sanders. I don't think they have great cards in here. I don't think it was anything great. Honestly, when we put these in there, that's way before the card market blew up. I think actually at one time I came in, we had a whole box of cards and I took it to the warehouse. But I don't it's remember. Somewhere. Now it's lost in the abyss. This is top set 1987. What? Oh, somebody's upstairs. Oh my God, I was like, it's haunted. Did you guys <laughs> hear that? That sounded scary. It sounded like something was behind haunted. the boxes. 1987 top set. Of course, I get to check this card. Looks like it's a complete set. They look, look like they're decent conditions. So I'm not gonna mess with them. This is probably haunted right here. It's like possessed. It's Look okay. The good thing about haunted things, they always attack the kids. <laughs> you guys fight back less. I think Ooh. Run oh wow! Look at this one. Look at how many little babies you get with this. Oh, I love this Star Wars trilogy. That's an awesome figure. Yeah. Oh, he has a whole bunch of Han. Oh, anime for Nana. The oh, Lost Airbender. That's not an anime. That is an anime. No, it's not. It's by Nickelodeon. So Nickelodeon's not have to make anime? Well, it's not an anime necessarily. It's an American TV show. Shadow Jack. It's early 2000s though. <gasps> NBA All-Star Michael Jordan. What'd you find? Corpse the Corpse is Bride. Oh That's such a good movie. Anything it. by Tim Burton's awesome. Oh, you know what? We gotta take this. We gotta check this card because some of these cards are super rare because oh, wow. they only made so many figurines. Oh, yeah. Let's, Let's put, put this, this one, one on. Michael Jordan with an all-star card. And, of course, more Star Wars down here. Wait, what's that? That little... Yeah, what's the doll? baby? What is she? Oh, this is so cute with the safety oh, it's pin. Brad's it's Brad's holiday. It's Brad's baby. Oh, Brad's wow. baby holiday, Yasmin. So that, and it's an exclusive holiday fashion. Those are and it's good. a, uh, whenever you guys see that it says like um, the, the store exclusive, oh, it's, it's worth the more. First ever baby it's not necessarily edition. worth more, but it, it has a chance to be worth more. Yeah. It says it's the first holiday edition for babies, so that might be a collector. Okay, maybe you should put this in the car. Yeah. Check that out, isn't it? Do no, because, you know, once we stop filming Storage Wars, then we're just going to start going full-time. You know, we'll come every day, we'll get like 10 of these boxes. Or probably we do, we'll get a whole truckload, 24-foot truckload. Take the warehouse, spread our tables, and separate Star Wars, Pratt's, and then see what we can put together. This is called job security, guys. Yeah. I mean, honestly, 25,000 figures. Let's say you only clear on average $10 per figure, okay? Which is very rare to find anything out of 10. That's probably conservative. You probably can say that you're going to clear about... <sighs> 20 bucks a figure because there's a lot of older stuff in here mm -hmm. at 25,000 figures that's half a million dollars cleared Damn, and you can list, <laughs> you can list all this in a year when you do it full time you know two three people and that's not counting the old stuff so we are probably sitting on two million dollars worth of ebay stuff between all the different lockers safe stuff so you don't plan to be like 80 years old in your wheelchair still buying uh lockers for store tours probably i just give them to you it's Hello, Hello Kitty, Kitty Barbie. Barbie. Oh my goodness. Look at how fabulous her belt, her She's hat, so her handbag. I've never seen that before. 
look, she even has the necklace, the jacket. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I'm choking on dust. <clears throat> She's fabulous. Simply fabulous. Hey, but be careful. You're about to put them on the toys. Let's um, start with the video after this box because we're at 20 minutes. 20, okay, let's go to 25, so we'll have two 25 minute sessions. Okay. Revenge of the Sith. Start Look at how cute. It's oh. a little horse. Oh, See, Tatiana's and it includes attention. a placing. That's even better. Now, you guys are asking also why why you're stopping the video. Just keep on going through. It's also the size of the video file. It's easier if there's any kind of issues. Obi-Wan. All right. Which box are you going to choose next? I'm just going to choose some of these small ones here. Okay. Hasbro Toys. End of vehicles. I wish that wasn't there. But a lot of stuff was repacked. Okay. Oh, the Hulk? Oh, so these right here, I didn't know what these were. Perlcons? We have Buckle. boxes and Buckelcon. Yeah. But a lot of these, like, they start at 15 bucks and they go up to 15. They've been selling. I threw mine away. I used to have them. Or like, and what? I didn't know what they were, so I threw them away. Oh, when I was no. little. Good job. <laughs> when you, when, when you want to go great. to college, I'm like, yeah, I was going to pay you books, but you threw away your Buckelcon. Oh, yeah, these right here, these are all like 50 bucks a piece. <laughs> That sounds like Renee. Shout out to my Navy buddy, Chris. He used to come to our store all the time. Oh, yeah. Loves it. It's just, we've been so busy, like, unfortunately. And then, you know, with the pandemic, we just haven't seen anybody. But he might see this video if he does. Shout out. Sorry, he might be he mad at me because we time. never got together. But I don't know. I hope not. Baku Oh, that's great. So these cool. usually bring, like, I want to say, like, 50 bucks a pack. I just love looking at toy boxes. Baku Khan 3 pack. This whole box is Baku I like this one. Imaginax by Fisher Price. That's oh, cool. Oh, the Imaginax is crazy. So I had no idea about this brand, guys. If you see these in a yard sale or whatever, just buy them. You can't lose them a lot. A lot of these Imaginax are like 40, 50 bucks a figure. Nice. And they even go up to the hundreds. It's crazy. Like Imaginax superheroes, Transformers. Isn't he um, the brother of Poison Ivy? <coughs> oh, is that, it's Mr. Freeze, isn't it? Yeah, I thought Poison Ivy breaks him out of jail and then she's like, brother, you know? I mean, I don't know, maybe. I get, somebody in the comment section can probably tell us that. Yeah. I don't know if I'm right, but I remember in a movie, it's like Poison Ivy. And this box right here with all the Baku Khan and Ben 10. Here, let's put this in another box so we don't squeeze okay. anything. This is probably like, you know, 600 to to $1,000 box. Wow. Hey, babe, that box right down there has empty space in it. Let us know in the comments, too, if you guys are excited for, like, the She-Hulk TV show that just came out. Yeah, Robert has been watching these. That's pretty cool. Pretty good? Yeah. Okay, X-Men Monster Armor. Let's see what you got here. Rogue. Cool. Lizard. Matchbox trucks. Oh, that's great. Bill Walton. Oh, Sonic the Hedgehog. This is oh, probably yeah. 30 bucks right here. This is great. There's two different Sonics. There's this like there's the three. Same. I think all these Sonics are like 30, 40 bucks a piece. Sonic. And you know, I know guys, somebody's gonna Look be in the comment cute. section. Somebody's gonna be in the comment section is like, Renee, I just checked it up. You said 40 bucks. You don't know what you're talking about. I seen one on eBay for 15 bucks. Two things I say to that. Number one, sometimes people will list stuff really cheap just because they need money. You know, a lot of, with our toys, we always plan on selling it around Christmas. Number two, this is all for memory, okay? So, and prices and fluctuate up, up and, and down. down. Yeah, I have stuff before. I'm like, oh yeah, this sells all day 20 bucks. And then none of them has listed for a long time and people are selling for 60. So prices go up and down. Wow, Iron check this Man. guy. Spy kits, no idea. Here's the good thing to know in life. There's talkers, and then there's people who criticize, but there's not that many doers. You're actually, you're actually absolutely right. You want to be a doer in life. Not yeah. a talker, nor See somebody. See what Tatiana yeah. born with working with us? Yeah. yeah. Everybody always has an opinion, but, you know. I didn't get to point it out, but there was a Halo figure in there. We sold Halo figures really well. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, we, we remember that one case fresh deal we bought where everything was case fresh. The guy just ordered from companies, he had a bunch of Halo. And I was kind of upset because at the time, Halo wasn't as great. I mean, people liked it, but they weren't buying the figures. And then we just had them stored for a year, and a year later, they just exploded. And we were selling on eBay for like 30, 40 bucks a piece. I think we sold all of ours. Yeah, I think so, too. I don't know. Go check out our eBay. See if you have Halo. There might be a couple. I know we have some more to list that, that were just like stragglers or like people changed their mind, and they just kind of ended up in the overpile. And I, there's uh, 10 by 50. There might be some in here. Oh, yeah, I hope, because now Halo figures are really good. Spider-Man. 
those are some big feet. Oh, look, it's an <laughs> ant eater. How funny with the ants. That's oh, here's cute. a good one. This should last time I checked, this was a hundred dollar bill, so he might have they might have went down. Get out. But when he passed, like I remember one morning I woke up on eBay and Ultimate Warrior. Like all of a sudden, like we had like 30 sales. Every Ultimate Warrior figurine just sold immediately. Unfortunately, what happened, he passed away that day. So whenever somebody passes away, people go buy the stuff, you know? Uh, so last time I checked, these were going for 100. I'm sure they went down in the meanwhile, you know, when the hype is gone. But, but he's a wrestling legend. I'm guessing that's a $50 figurine now. But who knows? Maybe it's still 100. Oh, Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Nice. Narsh, narsh, narsh. Where else are we going? Where else? Let's, let's get some stuff over here, I guess. Let me put this one up here, maybe. See, this is like one of my favorite videos that we filmed so far because a lot of the stuff I, I know, you know, it's not like something like 1950s. Really. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I know, uh, right? These are so fun. These, these videos are good this times. This is part of pop culture. Yeah. We need to find some Monster High stuff. Oh yeah, uh, let's find that. I've, I've seen boxes when we moved it. Look at this, he's a vintage oh, Snoopy phone. Look at the Snoopy phone. I, I don't want to dig it out because it's kind of very nice. My Little Pony. Oh, here's vintage stuff down here. Ooh, oh, look at that. Okay. okay, now it's broken. Return of the Jedi. Oh, that's so cool. And this is, this should be 83, right? Yeah, it's 1983. This is original. So, little Renee. This might be worth more than the lunch boxes, right? Because usually you find the lunch boxes. Lunch boxes you don't are find... worth more, but this is a key thing a lot of kids lost. Because little six year old Renee was like, Oh my god, you actually put it on your mouth? No. That's... As long as he doesn't kiss me, we're what okay. If roaches were like crawling all over that. How do you feel? Well, they don't really have a taste, it seems like. Oh my god. <laughs> so, and then he would play, he would drink his apple juice or something. And he would leave it in the sandbox and with the lunchbox without the thermos. Yeah, and that's check what this I was saying. This might be worth more. Oh, wow. Peanuts. Peanuts. Oh, man. Nice. That's so cool. It says 1965, but that's a corp. It's, it's, this must be 80s, too, because it looks identical. That's really cool. What oh, other vintage Mickey. stuff? That's the phone. There's Mickey Mouse down there. Oh, like a little doll? Yeah, but it looks old. Uh, oh, yeah. That's Disneyland cool. Disney. This is a Burb made in Burbank. That's probably worth a lot of money if it's made in Burbank rather than in the China. The company's Burbank, but it's made in Korea, product of Korea. Yeah, isn't that worth money because it's not made in China? Remember, that because stuff that was so mass-produced, but maybe it's some. Oh, I've never seen this. This is a special Micro Machines. Oh, Micro Machines are Millennium really good. Millennium Falcon, Boba Fett slave ship, and the Death Star. I've ne this must have been some kind of convention giveaway, maybe, or maybe a mail-in. Put this one aside. I've never seen this before. Imagine yeah. you had that in the, on your floor in your room. Your this seems to be a good it. box, guys. When you go hunting, tea hunt. Tea hunt. Well, okay. You know what that stands for? Tatiana. Tatiana hunt, obviously. What's tea hunt? I've never seen it's that. It's dedicated to Treasure it. Treasure hunt. Treasure uh. hunt. So people were looking for these all the time. They were very rare. It's like, I think, one per case. These used to be like 100 to 200. Most of them now, most of them are 20, 30 bucks. But some of them are still really cool. Depends on the car. We should just say from now on, we're going for a tea hunt. For a tea hunt? Yeah. Give a little wink at the end. <laughs> I'm going for a tea hunt. This was actually a really fun box, vintage yeah. box. Was the Snoopy a phone? It's a phone. It should be from the 60s. I love that. I love yeah. anything Snoopy. Peanuts related. You right? do? They're yeah. Yeah. Let's see what these two boxes are because we can stack them easy back up then. You know what? Let's get this big box first and we'll stack it up again. We start cleaning and stacking. How many minutes are we in the second section? We're at eight minutes so eight far, minutes. guys. So, guys, do you want a quick rundown video or do you like it where you get to see everything? I know I always ask, but I love it when you leave the comments. I think this is a big money box. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, look at the G.I. Joes. We haven't come across this yet. These are great. G.I. Joes, they're the African-American versions. Are those worth more? Because they, they're They less... used to be. The, they're rarer. They obviously make less. Yeah. Uh, we used to have a really good customer in our store that would come in and buy all of them for our grandkids. So, but I think they're about the same price now, maybe even a little bit less. But they're super cool. So cool. Pull this one out. What's that? Snow Speeder. That's one of my favorite vehicles. Look Actually, in that. 1980, when this came out, I got it for Christmas, the original one. This is super cool. Uh, that was flown when uh, Luke Skywalker was going to the Death Star, and the troop and Leia's like watching him, no, right? No, that's X-Wing. This was flown in the Empire Strikes Back, the second movie that came out, mm -hmm. and they had to battle on the Hoth planet versus the AT-AT -AT walkers. Oh, okay. TIE Fighter. Oh, look at that. That's old, too. Look at the yeah. graphics on the side. It, it's it's not old. It's a remake of the old look from the Drillogy edition. Oh, so is that a, what it is? It's the first, okay. yeah. 
So, but still, I mean, this is probably 90s, or 2004, okay? I ask why if it's specifically, because in class, this thing's older. Star Wars. <laughs> this thing's older than you. Yeah. Dude, that's that's cool. That's cool. A lot of the stuff is older than me. This is Clone Wars. Your teacher would appreciate this. This is from, um, so they made less toys at these. This is, Clone Wars was a TV cartoon series. This one's cool. cool. The Super Classic. Soaker? Wow. Yeah. I've never seen it where it gets you wet. Yeah. That's a cool little box. Uh, okay, I'm going to put this back up there because we'll have to clean all this. We're getting towards the end of the video anyway. I Honestly, really if you guys want to see toys out of these units, we probably can shoot 30 videos out of these units. Yeah. Maybe what we do when we move all this stuff, we'll just shoot crazy amounts of video. Yeah. Let us know. Do you want to see crazy amounts of video? Okay, here. Yeah, you... Are water that are Star Wars That's so much cooler. Yeah, are you guys having just as much fun as we are? Because this is cool. David Carr, he was amazing. His brother still playing. Obviously, Derek Carr. Michael Vick. See? Oh, I know that name. <laughs> you hear all of a sudden Tatiana and I got quiet. You're like, like, you're like, we don't know any of these people. Emmett oh. Smith, when he was in Arizona. Oh, I know Emmett Smith. At the end Smith. of career. Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, hockey, hockey, I don't really know. We did just sell a hockey goalie. Jason Seahorn. I think I'm pretty sure he was part of Kurt Warner when they won the Super Bowl. And then uh, we got the Julius Pepper defender who's really, really dominating. Jeremy Shockey tied in for the Giants. I mean, for a while he really ruled. And then he just got away. And then who's this quarterback down here? Rich Gannon. And you guys, I don't know if I said this in this video or the other video, but look how he's got dirty tennies. Look at how his uniform is dirty. So this might be, um, what is it? A variance? No, I keep on saying variation. It variation. could be a variation. So they got variations of clean and dirty. Been yeah. Hard, you know, practicing. So it might be worth more money. Cool. We always like that. We always like when it's worth more money, right? <laughs> yeah. No, I try to have as cheap as possible the items. No, nah, no. Nah. Which box are you going to choose next? Uh, I got a box right here. Okay. Okay. Worst part, now we shot this video for you guys. Now we got to clean it all. Oh, man. Oh, man. Batman. You guys did hear. He said we. That means he's going to help. Oh, these are good. Beast Wars. Oh, wow. A lot of these figures are really good. Beast Wars. It's an offspring of Transformer, obviously. Ooh, a Batmobile. Lord of the Rings. Yeah, so these are really cool DC comics. That's 1960s, right? That's slick. 1960s, the blue one, the yeah. black one, 1960s. Nice. So do you it, prefer it in, blue or black? Uh, black. Uh, these are usually, so in our store, we usually were getting like 30, 40 bucks for these. I don't know what they're on eBay these days. Star Trek, one of my favorite characters, Data, in a transporter scene. And Jordy in a transporter scene. I've never seen that before. So you see how the body was in Oh, look at his body. Cool. That's Energize. Cool. And then we have Mr. Spock. Original Star Trek. Oh, that's cool. Hey, if you guys watch Star Trek, I just want to see what's your favorite. So, but to be fair, you got to watch Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, Voyager. You got to watch it all. The original one. And actually some of the new one. What's your favorite Star Trek series and why? I haven't watched too much of the new stuff. I watched mainly um, Older, through classic. Voyager. Walmart exclusive and then the Fantastic Four. I mean, not from Justice League, right? Yeah. Yeah, Justice League. So let's get these back in here. It kind of looks like when they're like teleporting, what? you know, it kind of looks like your little sister dipped them in glitter. <laughs> they, it does kind of. Data was one of my favorite characters. I'm gonna put it back up. Uh, yeah, let me put it back up. Why do you like him so much? Is it because he's happy? Or? Uh, his storyline has developed really cool. Number one, he was unique to see, obviously, back then to see an android on television. Yeah. Obviously not a and real the actor android, does but... does a really good job. He does a really, really good job. And then also his character development throughout the seven seasons is pretty amazing. Yeah, I concur. I, actually, I think uh, Worf has really good character development, Worf but... Is cool. Yeah, Wolf is cool, but I think Data really has a lot of struggles with humanity. Oh, pet shop, you want to show some of those? So his development is just really, really cool. Oh, it's a seahorse. A turtle. Oh, and these are bobbleheads. Are they all bobbleheads? Uh, you can move the heads, but they're not bobbleheads. Like these the ones, ones all seem. <gasps> Look at how cute the deer. Yeah, we're going to have like over a thousand of those to list. The kitty cat. 
Yeah, I love it. And you're about to hit 15 minutes, just by the way. Okay, so let's get a little bit more. Oh, this is great with the butterfly. And the caterpillar. Oh, is that what that is? That's so neat. Do you know what I learned? So when caterpillars are in the cocoon, it's actually not that they're transforming. They turn into a goo. And a goo? Inside. What? Yeah, <laughs> one of my teachers. All right, let's go through this stuff here. Here's Beanie Babies. That's some vintage stuff, but this is Look an at old the box. That they turn into a goo neat. and then they reform. Garfield. Oh, that's Jim so Davis. Cool. 1978, I was two years old. Wow. Great moments at the Santa Anita racetrack. And then this is a Harry Potter chess set. Whoa, that's, that's cool. neat. That's really cool. Oh, look, that's in the movie when they're being tested. In one of the movies, they have to go through the chess set. And whoever wins has to be great at art, I think it is. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. So we got to repack them all so we can stack them. I know. I'm like, oh my yeah, god, it's like a puzzle piece trying to get them back in. I haven't had, I haven't watched the movie in a while, but yeah, they have to go through the chess piece when they're being tested. If not, just put them in another box. I'm getting it. Super D. Pokemon. Oh, here's some that? Pokemon, but it's not the oh, pack. Oh god, I got excited just there. Yeah, so these are the Poke Balls. For the longest time, I don't think they were worth anything, but now they're worth something. Let's put these aside. Cool. You here see these? Actually, if you guys know what these are worth, let us know. They both seem to be brand new. Yeah. Super D Stormtrooper. Simpsons. Oh, check this one out. Not a Pokemon. This is cool. Limited edition set of one of 10,000. Do those cars actually exist? So, But that's racing champions, right? What's the yeah, know. racing check. That's like the cheapest version of NASCAR collectibles you well, can buy. Well, it's still cool. Oof, Friday the 13th Matchbox. <laughs> Do those cars really exist? How long they are? Or? Yeah, they're, they're called drag race. They're dragsters, and it's a certain type of car. So let me see what it says. Top fuel dragsters. They're super fast, super loud. Yeah, you've never seen that? No, I haven't. Oh, so when you get home, remind me. I'll show you on YouTube. They're kind of cool. They're fun to watch. Really? People who are into that are like really into it. What's that Pokemon thing? See, there's a Pokemon. Like, there's like a magazine. This? <gasps> Yeah. God, every time you say Pokemon, I get really excited. Ooh. What is it? There's, There's some sort of sheet of unshut. Be really careful how you pull these out oh. because Master Trainer Collector said Pokey Trivia. I mean, I think it's just a trivia. I don't, I don't think they're considered oh, it's a Burger King. But you yeah. know what? They're uncut sheets. Is that what that whole pack is? Wow. Look at that, guys. I have no idea. I mean, these could be worth five bucks. Or they could be worth a hundred bucks a sheet. And they're not all the same, they're all different. Oh, even better. Let me see what year this is. It seems to be newer, to be honest with you. 98. So I think Pokemon started in 94, 95, the early stuff. Oh, wow. Really, can just put in the front seat in a Mercedes and then like... <laughs> I know. That is really funny. That Those could be worth like... It, who knows? They could be worth five bucks, but... Early Pokemon, and it's a Burger King promotion. And I would assume a lot of kids got those. And they probably cut them apart. Mm -hmm. I thought they were like Valentine sheet cards because they come like that. I saw it inside. I thought it was some sort of fly. Nice eye that you caught that as Pokemon. That's probably the most exciting stuff we found today so far. I saw the little ball. Like the little Pokemon ball. Star Wars. That's cool. The Last Jedi R2D2. What is it? Is it just like a figurine or? Oh. Exclusive at Walmart. It's like a figurine. It's Disney, too. That's well, Disney, Disney owns it. stuff. So it's new. A Captain Phasma's already on here. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. And BB-8. These are all Shopkins. Oh, this is great. Look at this one with the three cars. That's really cool. So cute. All this stuff will be on eBay, guys. All right, stack them back in. That's the Disney Cars collection. Yeah. Uh, let me put them over here. Skylanders again. Our eBay video, I don't think we did it this week. I think our eBay video with the giveaways that's coming, we talked about Skylanders. We made a lot of money. Let's put them aside. We made a lot of them. Because it's just, I want to take one to see what they're worth these days. But I hope they're as good as those packs we sold because we seem to find a lot of these Skylanders. The Shopkins, Shopkins, yeah, sold really well in our store. We put up a whole box. I don't know if the hype's still up. But... Oh, this is interesting. Well, actually, here, so we got a Toy Story. So um, cool. That's nice. sure. And then this. What is it? Masters of the Universe Tongue Lasher. Never seen that one before. It's a mini statue. They don't even call it an action figure. Masters of the Universe is part of He Man, right? Yeah. Made by Four Horsemen. Yeah, it's part of He Man. That looks really old. Halo 2. Cool. cool. This is a cool one. Uh, what do we got here? 
starting line lineup, Sammy Sosa. Sammy Sosa. But look at the cards. We have a bunch of these cards. So the cards you want to check. Rogue, some Star Trek. Who's that? Uh, Kira. But so this, she's just the one from that came from an alternate universe. Mm. Like I said, I watched Star Trek once before. A little before. too much. <laughs> <laughs> you like it too? I do. Should we open up one more box? Yeah, we can open up a couple more. Why not? We're here, right? Yeah. As long as I can reach them. Here's some small ones. Let's see what's going to be small. Yeah, I'll just put this right back up. Thank you. You think the chat is right now, Renee? Open up more, open up more, open up more. Ooh, Soul Calibur. Seal, are those sealed cases? Huh. Oh, Party Fiesta, Jumbo, oh, there's Piñata. That's different. We don't want that to be in there. Let's see what's in the little one. We only like Piñatas that are filled with candy, right? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Little I pet shops. Well. Birdies. <laughs> So like with the pet shops, like we're going to try to separate all the pet shop boxes and sort them out to see our duplicates. We have thousands. We have a lot of boxes. You should see at the warehouse. We could start our own pet shop at this point. Right? What's that? Kids oh, meal. League. Justice League figurines. Jack in a box. I didn't know they gave away toys also. They all do. Yeah. Everybody does now. These are all Justice League. Guys, leave us comments. Do you want to see more of these videos? I think you do. We can unbox all these videos, so we are almost done with Storage Wars, so I don't know if they sign another season, but we're going to start doing a lot of videos. The next two weeks or so, that's a rough estimate time frame, we got an eBay promo video coming where we show more, show more toys, Oops. and hopefully we get your support there. And also, we have a bunch of giveaways in that video, so you don't want to miss that video, and it's time sensitive, so make sure to share and be part of the team. You know what you need to do. Support the family, support the team, because you guys are Team Bargain Hunters. And thanks for watching. Until next time.